Hi everyone. So in this video today, we're going to look at the thermite reaction. So this is a pretty impressive demonstration and um, maybe you've seen and if you haven't seen it in the lab, then maybe whenever you're back in the lab, you'll get to see it. So it's a reaction between iron oxide, which is like an orangey brown substance. It's commonly called rust that you maybe have seen in your bike or somewhere at home or gates and stuff. And it reacts together with aluminium. Now we're using aluminium powder because it's got a really high surface area and helps the reaction happen. So these two substances are mixed together and they're held inside an aluminium can with the magnesium here being used as a fuse. So think about the cartoons that you would have watched when you were little and there was a fuse lit and then the bomb went off. So this is what a fuse is. The magnesium, the Mr. McCann's gonna light the magnesium at the top. It'll burn down and then start the reaction. You'll see in the video, it's quite a vigorous reaction. So it gives Mr. McCann time to get away so that he's not close by. So it's actually a displacement reaction. Your teacher will tell you about. So it's iron oxide plus aluminium. And because aluminium is more reactive than iron, it'll displace the iron from the iron oxide and it'll form aluminium oxide plus iron. And then in below, I have written the symbol equation as well. So I've gone a wee bit higher and zoomed in a bit so you can see what's happening. So Mr. McCann's gonna use the Bunsen burner to light the magnesium fuse. You'll see it starting to burn with a bright white light. That's when we know that the fuse is lit. Then that'll give Mr. McCann time to take a step back. Um, I'm at a safe distance. It's just that I've zoomed in the camera. So even though it looks closer, I'm really not standing that close to it. Mr. McCann's a lot closer than I am at the minute. So the fuse is lit. You'll see the bright white light of magnesium. So what actually has happened is that it's produced enough heat that it's melted through the aluminium can and we use a sand bucket so that it's landed in the sand and what you're looking at is molten iron so it produces such a high temperature that the iron formed actually melts and turns into liquid iron molten iron in the bottom of the sand bucket now what you can't feel in the video is the heat that's coming off it so what you might need to do is rewind the video and have a look again at the observations that's produced in it. Um, it's still really warm when you're standing here. You can feel the heat coming off it um, and it's still molten. When this cools down, it'll be a solid lump of iron. I'll show you that in a few seconds. We're back at the bucket now. Um, you can see that the iron has cooled down. So we're just going to use the magnet and see what happens when we put the magnet into it. So the magnet, the iron is attracted to the magnet and all the other stuff's stuck to it, but we will have a pure block or a block of pure iron there that's been formed during that reaction. So the equation, if you think back to the equation, the iron oxide reacted with the iron. So the equation's here. We got iron oxide reacted with aluminium and we got aluminium oxide plus iron. So it was the pure iron that attracted to the magnet at the end of the reaction.